Hi everybody. In this part of the series from 2D to 3D, I would like to show how to construct the drum of a revolver. So let's start with the bullet chamber. Let's make a cylinder with eight sides and a radius of from four millimeters and zero out the positions. Drop the tool A to center the view, three for poly mode, select the polygon B for bevel, bevel it in a bit, hit the delete key. Now this is the first of six chambers so I move it up a bit, W key for the move tool, move it up to maybe here. Mm, no, that's probably too far. Let's put it about to here. <coughs> Next, duplicate radial array account of six action center origin click in the viewport. That does not look bad. Drop the tool and remove the helix generator. I don't know why this one always stays up. A to center the view. Two for edge mode. Select two edges here. Go to edge bridge. Click in the viewport. Drop the tool. Then select the next two edges. Control R. Click Drop the tool, Control R repeats the last command. Control R, click drop with the space bar. Control R, click drop with the space bar. And again, and again. Drop the tool. So these are the uh, six chambers of the revolver. Drum. And if I have a look here now, I have. 18 edges on the inside, so to make the center uh, I need a circle with 18 edges and I make it uh, 1.5 by 1.5 and zero out all these positions. Drop the tool, select this new polygon, B for bevel, bevel it in, uh, like so, hit the delete key. Now I have a slight problem here, I must rotate it, so E for the rotate tool, control, select, turn it, and then you are constrained to 15 degree rotations, and now they line up nicely. So. We select these two edges, bridge them together, and as I said already in another video, if you have a problem with the directions, just reverse them. Drop the tool. Now we go to the outside. Here we have 30 edges, so we need a circle with 30 edges, maybe about this size. 13.5 looks right. Drop the tool and select the new polygon. Hit the B key for bevel. Bevel it in just a bit and delete. And again we need to rotate this one. So select the outer then E key for rotation Control rotate till the edges line up here. Then edge mode again, shift select the second edge bridge and reverse direction again. Oops, I did something wrong. Hang on. Uh, the problem is I didn't uh, make a circle with 30 edges but only with. 18, so 30 edges, apply, 
drop the tool, B key for bevel, bevel it in, and delete. And now we should be better, so select this one, E for rotate, control. Now we line up, edge mode again, shift click the second edge, and bridge. And this looks much better. So, perspective. <coughs> Select all the polys, hit the X key, and extrude it out to where it makes sense or looks right. So, now I center everything. drop the tool, deselect, and now I select this polygon and this polygon, hit the up arrow key, Modo will then select in the same scheme, oh, no, I forgot something. So let's go to edge mode by hitting the tool key, add loop, and I add two loops here, shift click for the second one about here, drop the tool, go back to polygon mode, now shift click this polygon, shift click this polygon, hit the up arrow key, go to front view, A to center the selection, R for the scale tool, and now scale this in to about here. Drop the tool, perspective mode, and I think you see now what I want to get at. So I select these two edges, up arrow key, W key for the move tool, action center automatic, and move these back a bit like so. Now, of course, we do not hold any edges here. If I hit the tab key, then you see this is far away from looking like the drum of a revolver, but this we will fix right now. So, to do it, I will add a temporary loop here, which makes selecting much easier. So, 3 for poly mode, select this polygon and this polygon, up arrow key till we have all, then shift up to uh, expand the selection. <coughs> Modo has a wonderful uh, function, it's called boundary select, and when I select this one I have just a boundary of the previously selected polygons, then shift tab to go to Pixar subdivision, vertex map, edge way to 20 as usual, click in the viewport, drop the tool, and go back to normal mode. Now I can select this edge here and delete it, it was only temporary. <coughs> now we need to hold uh, some other edges, let's start with this. I select two polys in each of the chambers and two polys here in the middle. Hit the L key, then go back to select boundary and you see we have now everything selected on the inside and we need to only add to this selection by shift clicking these two edges. Shift tab again vertex map, edge way to click in the viewport and bang, here we are. Drop the tool. If you feel it is too hard now, go up with the subdivision level from 2 to 3 and then it looks nice and, and right. So here it is, our revolver drum in less than 10 minutes. Thanks for watching this. Bye bye. Take care and have fun modeling with Modo. Bye-bye.